In this video, we're going to have a look at how to show or hide related products. Now, I know in this case that if you have related products set, they won't show if there are none. However, the, the heading will show. So I just want to show you here, if I head over now to edit the product, and I add some categories. So I'm going to add it to, um, let's uh, add it to accessories, update. And now when I view the product, you'll see that the related product show, but then also the title. Now, normally the title would show irrespective of whether they are related products or not. So I just wanted to show you a quick function that you can run that can check if there are related products and then implement. So if I head over here to the group products template, you'll see that um, in this preview, we have the um, related products. And I'll just show you that if I have a look at that heading, and I was to remove this condition and save, head over to the website. We do a refresh. There would be related products. I'm going to edit the product now, remove uh, or move to a category with no related products. And then we're going to view the product. And you'll see now that the related products title is still showing. And we don't want that to show. So to remove that, we're going to run a condition using this new conditions feature. And we're just going to run that on the heading, uh, on the container, actually. We'll run it on the whole container, and that way uh, nothing will be displayed if there's no content. So just to check that out, I'm going to give that container um, a background color. So I'll go to styles here, and we'll just go to background and let's make that this turquoise color i'm going to save and now when i head over to the website you'll see that we have that turquoise color showing so how to hide that it's really quite simple and what i'm doing in this particular case for the condition is i'm actually returning a value in a code snippet in my function and based on that value something will happen so here i am here is my function, and just to quickly run through it then, I access the global post variable. From that, I check uh, if there are related products, and the way that I do that is I use this WC get related products function from WooCommerce. So I just say get the related product, we'll check if there are related products then for this post. And then I say if there are related products, return true else return false now i don't have to return the true and the false but i'm going to show you why i do it that way and then of course i need to copy the name of my function um i don't actually need this row but i need to copy the name of this function then to use in the condition so we're just going to save that right and then we head over to the website and this is where the fun can start now what i'm going to do is add a container under the container i'm going to add a code block Right, so I'm adding a code block. And in that code block, I'm going to just check the value if it outputs correctly. So um, I don't need a condition. And basically what I'm going to do then is in the content here, let's remove that. And I'm going to PHP. And I have it enabled the option in the settings to um, execute code. So what I'm going to do then is just echo and we'll just echo out the value of that function and then i'm going to save then what i'll do is i'll execute the code and run the code so, no, so um, at the moment it executes false and that's because in fact um, there is no uh, it is correct because there is no um, content and if I here now, if I went into edit this product and I did change the setting to accessories, update, and I head back here and I run that code again, it should now change to execute true. Right, so it executes true. So that is working. Now, what I'm going to do is just move on up to the container and add the condition. So here we are and the conditions and what I'm going to do now is select condition and I'm going to go for uh, dynamic data and that dynamic data um, I already know it should be echo but if you're not sure if you type in function 
you'll see output PHP function. You click on that, it says echo. And just after the echo, a colon and the name of the function, then I'm going to make sure that that value is exactly the same as true. So that's all that I need now to um, execute that function and run. So now what will happen is when I head over to the website, and at the moment you'll see that um, we do have, so I'm just going to open this in a new tab, it'll be a bit quicker. So we do see related products, we do see true. I'm going to head back to the product. I'm now going to remove it from accessories, pop it into clothing because I know there are no related products in that specific category. And when I refresh now, you'll see that there's nothing to display. Head back to the product, go back to a category with uh, items in it, and refresh, and the related product show again. So, yeah, now it's just a case of heading back to the container. And what I'm going to do then is delete the code. So I don't need that bit of code anymore. And what I can also do then is head back to that container. And in that container now, I'm going to go to style and the background color. I can clear that. Right, save. And now I know that in the logo collection, if there are related products, it will show. And if there are no related products, it won't show. So that's just a really quick way to show you how you can um, write a, a, a function that returns a value. You don't have to, in this case, I don't need to return um, true or false, but I just did that to test the code before using it um, in the condition. But you can write pretty much any function that you want, and then by using the code, the dynamic data, echo, the name of your function, colon, the name of your function, and whatever the um, operator is, and then the final value. And that's how easy it is to use a condition then to show or hide um, content. In this case, the related products. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.